Hello, welcome to Modern Art for South Africa. Today we'll be talking about the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 virus. So we're going to unpack everything that you need to know and understand about the vaccine. Now, the JNJ vaccine is based on a decades of research and it also uses harmless versions of an adenovirus that might at times cause you to have colds. So this is also called a vector. Now, an adenovirus can make you sick or cause disease. It can't replicate and it can't integrate into your DNA. The vector is like an envelope that delivers spike proteins, making genes for your cells. Now, your cells pull in the adenovirus and start making spike proteins. These spike proteins go to the outside of cells, where your immune system can see and respond to them. J and J COVID-19 vaccine it's single shot into the upper arm. The protection starts around 10 to 14 days after vaccination. The vaccine does not contain any animal product and it's halal. You cannot get COVID-19 from the J&J &J vaccine. The J&J &J vaccine can be safely stored in a normal refrigerator for one month, making it much easier to use and distribute. Aspen Pharma will produce the J&J &J vaccine and South Africa is likely to get 13 million doses. The vaccine safety. The J&J &J vaccine has received validation from the World Health Organization. It has so far been safely given to millions of people around the world. In February 2021, the J&J &J vaccine was approved by South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, that is SAFA, under the Sisonke Protocol for an implementation study amongst 350,000 to 500,000 healthcare workers. On the 31st of March 2021, SAPRA registered the JNJ coronavirus vaccine under conditions which include safety monitoring. It was studied in a trial of 4,984 people in South Africa. During the trial, 94.5% of all COVID-19 cases among study participants were caused by the 501Y.V2 variant. Overall, the vaccine was 64% effective at preventing moderate to severe COVID-19 and 81.7% effective against severe to critical COVID-19 at 28 days post-vaccination. We know that all medicines have side effects. This also includes the vaccine. So the vaccine might have side effects which are caused when the immune system reacts to them. This sometimes confuses people who think that the vaccine has made them sick. But it really means that the vaccine is working. These side effects which are usually mild, last for a day or two. Side effect can include fever, pain or swelling near the injection site, chills, aching muscles and joints, feeling tired, nausea and vomiting. Some people have a severe allergic reaction to vaccines, but this is very rare and can be treated. It is important to let healthcare workers know if you have ever had a severe allergic reaction in the past or if you have allergy symptoms after getting vaccinated. If you develop any of the following symptoms after getting the J&J &J vaccine, seek medical attention right away. Shortness of breath, chest pain, persistent abdominal pain, swollen legs, severe or persistent headache, blood vision, persistent bleeding, skin bruising, small round spots that appear a few days after getting the vaccine. In April 2021, use of the J&J &J vaccine was briefly paused in South Africa. This happened because of a very rare cases of abnormal blood clots, which can be a life-threatening. In the US, 
This red blood clots developed in 15 women of 8 million people who got the J&J vaccine. So far, these red blood clots have developed mostly in women under 50 years old. Regulators in South Africa have recommended that the vaccine be used again with screening for people at high risk for blood clots, monitoring people after they get the vaccine, and treating people who develop the rare blood clots. In July 2021, the United States Food and Drug Association added a warning to J&J COVID vaccines about increased risk of gallien bear syndrome, it's also called GBS. Now, gallien bear syndrome is a rare condition that happens when the immune system attacks nerve cells. Other vaccines have been linked with GPS as well as COVID-19, but the overall risk is very low and it is outweighed by the benefits of vaccination. Among the 12.9 million people in the United States who got the J&J vaccines, here have only been 100 cases of the Canadian Bear Syndrome. The cases were mainly in men age 50 and above and usually occurred two weeks after vaccination. Early symptoms of the Canadian Bear Syndrome include weakness, tingling or numbness in the arms and legs, double vision, and difficulty in walking, speaking, chewing, swallowing, or controlling your bladder or bowels, which can progress to widespread muscle weakness and paralysis. See a doctor if you develop any of the symptoms after receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The j, &J vaccine is given as a single dose. It is safe and effective at preventing COVID-19 28 days after vaccination. It is safe for people living with HIV and can be used with antiretrovirals. The j, &J vaccine it is safe for people with pre-existing conditions that put them at higher risk for falling seriously ill from and dying of COVID-19. Possible for pregnant and breastfeeding women to use. And it is just as effective for black people based on information from clinical trials as people of other races or ethnicities. 64% effective against the 501YV2 coronavirus variant. In a clinical trial in South Africa, the J&J vaccine is not given as a two shots and the J&J vaccine is not effective forever. We don't know how long protection lasts and the virus may keep changing so the boosters will be needed. The j, j vaccine is not going to stop the pandemic right away. People will still need to wear masks and socially distance until enough people have been vaccinated. The j, &J vaccine is not approved for use in people under the age of 18 because it is still under study. The j, &J vaccine is not able to have an impact on fertility or pregnancy and it is not able to track or control people's movements. The j, &J vaccine is not always effective against the coronavirus variant. New information on vaccine is coming out all the time. The health department has set up the page known as sacoronavirus.co.za stroke EVDS stroke. You can register online at vaccine.enroll.gov.za or you can use WhatsApp line that is 0600-123456. WhatsApp line 0600-123456 or you can register via SMS by dialing star 134 star 832 hash WhatsApp line star 134 star 832 hash you can also 
call the COVID-19 hotline. That is 0800-029-999. South Africa's vaccination plan started in April 2021. The target is to have everyone aged 18 years and older vaccinated by February 2021. The health department says this will be up to 40.4 million people. The rollout is by age groups, oldest first, some jobs, healthcare workers, and some settings such as old age homes. Watch out for your turn and also help and encourage your friends and family when it's their turn to be vaccinated. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also we have a website called www.modernartforsouthafrica.co.za We are also available on Facebook, it's Modern Art for South Africa and we are also available on Instagram. Our handle is at Modern Art 4SA, at Modern Art number 4SA. Thank you very much and take care.